want to get your thoughts uh, and your recollections beyond your book on the lawsuits. There was some rumblings around Casablanca, and you and Neil had known that Bill might have been shopping the band to other labels. And then he, the day that Alive was released, before the money started coming in, he sued Casablanca for past royalties. And then you guys countersued a couple of weeks later uh, in October. First of all, you have to remember that his soon-to-be wife, Joyce, was a co-manager of the band. Right. So we knew everything that was going on in their camp. Um, Neil also put a cease and desist uh, against Atlantic Records, who was thinking about signing Kiss. But it was very interesting that nobody gave a shit about this band. You know, Sony passed on them, or well, CBS at the time, or Epic, whatever. Um, they passed on them after they put them in the studio, and it was basically all the songs in the first album which are still great, you know, Strutter and all that. I mean, Firehouse. And, uh, but but no other label in the industry wanted this band. And we stuck our necks out, and we went, you know, almost belly up trying to make them stars. So it, was, it, was, it got to be personal. Uh, the other thing Neil never wanted to do in his career was lose a band that would later be successful. 